Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a really fun and interesting topic to share with you today. And it's actually something that I've been wanting to make a video about for a really long time. And I'm finally sitting down and making it for you. So my intention is that this is just super informational and just helps you to really think about things in a different way. Like that's my biggest intention is to just help you to really thrive and find Zen in your life and how all the things like your whole lifestyle really uh, has a huge role in, in your inner Zen and in your peace and how you feel, right? So why I stopped wearing perfume and um, all of the reasons behind it. So for me, this actually all started uh, about a year ago. And this is when my husband and I, we were living in the Midwest in Ohio and we had decided to sell 80% of our belongings, fit whatever we could into our car and make the drive from Ohio to Southern California and just move and start over which is where we currently live. If you want to learn more about uh, our trip and all of that, you can watch the vlog that um, I have posted below. But in that uh, journey and in this like transition, we made the conscious decision, the intentional decision, to get rid of all of the toxins in our home and in our life that was no longer serving us anymore. So this included all of um, the toxins that we were using on our bodies and to clean in our home. So this was all of our cleaning products and all of our beauty products, um, all of our candles, air fresheners, just everything that is just filled with synthetic um, chemicals and essentially toxins. And so specifically for this video, we got rid of a, we had this um, big basket. It's like, you know, yay big and full of different perfumes and colognes, both mine and my husband's, and we just donated it and we got rid of all of it. And we had actually stopped wearing perfume and cologne, probably, um, it was a gradual process a few months prior to that, and when we made the move, we just got rid of it all. So where this all really started for me was I was dealing with a lot of like skin issues. And this kind of had come out of nowhere. I'd never really struggled with skin issues until like my mid twenties. And I wasn't like, I was just so frustrated. I didn't know what was going on. So I started to try everything, all these different products on my skin. And if one didn't work, I would go try another one. I thought maybe it was like the brand or, you know, just any, any product that I could try, I would. And what was happening is it was just making it worse and worse and worse. And so during this time of trying to figure out my skin, I was learning and discovering more about the chemicals in our food and starting to eat more organic, right? So if that's something that's new to you, I encourage you to go check out the Dirty Dozen and which um, uh, foods and veggies you want to focus on getting that are organic, right? So that you can thrive in, in, the, in your body with the foods that you're eating. So I started to translate that into the products I was putting on my skin. I'm like, wait a minute. If our skin is, our, is the biggest organ on our body, right, it is, and our skin absorbs up to 80% of what we put onto our bodies. And so if I'm absorbing all of this stuff that I don't know what is in the skin products that I'm putting onto my skin, I'm having a, a bad reaction to it and I'm essentially just soaking up all of these toxins into my body and that's, that cannot be good for me, right? Similar to food, right? So if you're eating processed foods that you don't know what's in it, you know, it just um, natural flavors and things that you can't even pronounce and you're eating that, it's like that cannot be good for you. You know, so I made that transition and that, that connection. So then I started to do a little bit more research and discovered that the beauty industry is just like this huge scam, just like the food industry, right? Okay, so with my skin, I decided to switch out and get rid of all of my products that I was using on my skin and just start using oils. Yes, I started to use the oil cleansing method and um, I'm actually creating a workshop on that as um, I'm filming this video. So once that's done, you can click and, and grab that if you want to learn more about that. 
Um, but that really just healed everything for me. And so then I just started to slowly get rid of every, all the other body products I was using too, like all of the lotions. I started to get rid of that because I'm like, what am I putting on to my skin? What am I using? I switched out all of my soaps for natural soap, right? Just little things, slowly at a time. And then I started to realize that whenever I was wearing perfume, I started to have this really like negative reaction to it. I would start to get like a headache, um, kind of nauseous when I would wear it. It would just make me feel really like sick in a way. And you know that feeling like when someone's wearing a ton of perfume and they walk into a room and you're just like, whoa, that is kind of giving me a headache. Think about it. Why is this giving you a headache? You know, your body is having a negative reaction to the synthetics and the chemicals that are in the perfume, right? Right. So really, there are so many things that fragrance um, has a negative and really, really harmful effect on you. When, so when we're putting like negative and harmful things into our body, this is going to negatively affect our mood, right? And this is going to enhance our anxiety. This is going to... to affect our hormones and just everything about us living and really thriving and feeling our absolute best. And so this might be kind of like a newer thing of like, wait a minute, the things that I'm wearing or putting onto my skin or it's just perfume or shampoo or whatever, that's going to affect my mood and how I feel? Yes, it does because it's all a part of your whole self and you really thriving and finding that zen, you know? It's not just your body, it's not just your mind, you know, it's not just your emotions, it's not just your spirit, it's all a part of it, it's your mind, your body, and your spirit working together to find that harmony as one. So we need to be able to reduce all of the things that are impacting us negatively um, and clear the space to really thrive, right? So let me, I want to read to you what the word fragrance really means and the things to look out for with your um, your products that you're putting onto your skin, including perfume. And then I'll show you with you what I started to do instead of wearing perfume. And I have an article up that I really like called, Is Your Perfume Poison? It's essentially poisoning you. And that might seem super dramatic, but hear me out, okay? So, using any synthetic perfume or cologne, or any other synthetically fragranced personal care product, are almost always loaded with synthetic chemicals that have been linked to cancer, reproductive toxicity, allergies, and more. Okay, so although the US Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, has actually direct authority to regulate like all of these harmful ingredients in like our cosmetics and our personal care and perfumes and things like that, it doesn't do it. So Here's a direct quote from the Environmental Working Group. It's called the EWG, which is a website that you can look up a product that you're using and see how, what the level of like toxicity is in each product that you're using and like how dangerous it can really be for your health and um, your emotions and you, okay? So here's a quote from them that I think is really helpful and I'll link this um, article below if you want to check it out a little bit more in depth. So when you see fragrance, on a personal care products label, read it as hidden chemicals. A major loophole in FDA's federal law lets manufacturers of products like shampoo, lotion, and body wash include nearly any ingredient in their products under the name fragrance without actually listing the chemical. Basically, they can just say what the word fragrance and the ingredients and put whatever they want into it without you knowing what it is. Companies that manufacture personal care products are required by law to list the ingredients they use, but fragrances and trade secret formulas are exempt, so they don't have to do it if it's a trade secret formula, which of course they don't want to give away, you know, the scent that they've created for their perfume. So what do you do? Of course you want to smell nice. You know, of course you want to use your lotion and, um, be presentable and like feel really good about yourself, but you don't want to do it at the expense of like not being able to use things that you've been using for like years and years. So what I did when I got rid of it all is I replaced it all with a kit of essential oils. And I started using oils as my perfume, as my um, part of my body care routine. So I use 
oils as my scent in with my lotions, okay? And I wear oils so much throughout the day, like on my, um, on my pulse points, behind my neck, on my, uh, uh, my temples, that I'm constantly smelling really good. I, like everywhere I go, someone is always saying, you smell like an essential oil, you smell really good right now, what are you wearing? I'm like, oh. I'm wearing oils, right? So super important to really think about, you know, your own health, but then also the people that you're impacting around you because you wearing a perfume is actually impacting other people. Remember when I said earlier, you know when someone is wearing just like a ton of cologne or a ton of perfume and you have this like reaction to it, you might be a little dizzy or sick. That's because it's affecting you. You're having a negative reaction to it. And so other people around you can be harmfully affected by this too, right? So just start to think about, keep an open mind of other options, of non-toxic approaches to your beauty and the way that you just present yourself and take care of yourself. And there really are amazing options like using essential oils for your perfume. So I do get asked a lot of questions like, well, I can't smell it after, um, it's not as strong of a smell. It doesn't last as long throughout the day. So you have to apply it more often. Yes, you do have to apply it more often, but it's not like it's that big of a deal. So like I like to keep my oils that I use as perfume in a little roller bottle. So you can get this as perfume anyway, right? Perfume in a roller bottle that you just roll onto your pulse points, but just have it with essential oils, quality essential oils. Right? So it, may, it makes a difference which oils you're using because again, the oil field isn't regulated either. So oils can be also synthetically created to smell like an essential oil when it's not even that oil anyway. So that's why I really trust doTERRA because I know that that is what it says it is on that bottle of the, the plant, stem, seed, flower, or bark, or whatever it is. Does that make sense? So using an oil as your perfume is the safest and healthiest way for you to make the transition on over from slowly reducing the toxins that you're putting onto your body in your beauty care. So just want you to really think about this. Check out the link below. Oh, and let me show you the, um, the few oils I use as my fragrance. I don't necessarily put on an oil as like, oh, this is my fragrance of the day because I'm using oils for so many things throughout the day that I know I just smell good all the time. <laughs> it's true. Like, I just showered before I filmed this video and I put on some lotion with an oil. So this is what I used. So I don't buy conventional lotion anymore because again, it's just full of fragrance. And remember the word fragrance is just hidden, harmful, synthetic chemicals, right? So doTERRA has a very safe uh, lotion that's unscented. And it's just, it looks like this, it's called hand and body lotion. And um, what you do, or what I like to do, is I pour, I open it up, I put a little bit into my palm, and then I take the, the scent, the oil that I want to smell like that day, and put that into my palm. So today, I literally just did this, I used wild orange, which is also um, the happy oil and known as the oil of abundance. Uh, it just smells so good. I put one or two drops into my palm with the lotion and then I apply that all over my body. That's what I did. So I know I smell like wild orange a little bit right now. And then additionally for my fragrance of what I started with doing last year when I got rid of all of our perfumes and colognes and now I do every day without fail is I use a um, roller bottle. And so here are just some examples of what a roller bottle looks like. And these are two that I just really like. The first is called Passion. So it's an inspiring blend of oils. And you just unscrew it and put it onto your pulse points. Continue to smell. Ah, so good. You can rub it onto your, uh, your temples, the back of your ears, the smell of your neck, right, or the nape of it and you will smell like it. So this is kind of like a spicy, like sweet cinnamon sort of smell, which is awesome. I love wearing this out for like date nights. Um, and just when I want to like feel more passionate about something that I'm doing, I want to feel like inspired or if I'm feeling like I'm not 
in my creative mode, I will bust this one out. And then the other one I really like is like a female women's scent. And I'm like almost out of this because I've used so much of it. It's called Clary Calm and it's a monthly blend for women. So in this one, it has things like clary sage, lavender, bergamot, roman chamomile, cedarwood, ylang ylang, geranium, fennel, uh, carrot seed, and vitex. So it, I really, really love it. And this one's super strong, so when I wear this, it, it lasts a really long time. So even after I get used to the smell and I don't smell it as much on my body, other people around me can smell it, okay? And... Yeah, so these are just two examples of things, of two oils that I really like to use in replacement of my perfume. So I hope that this was interesting to you. I hope you learned something. Just keep an open mind. Remember, it's not about like perfection, but it is about being aware and being really intentional about your surroundings and, and the way that you're taking care of yourself and like just truly releasing all the toxins in your life. So just take it one step at a time, just take it really slow, and know that this is a journey, right? This is a journey into the Zen lifestyle, and it doesn't require perfection, it just requires intention, okay? So thank you so much for being here. Uh, you can catch me on my website, alishaleedham.com. Um, I'll see you for my next video. I love you so much, and I hope you have a really, really great day. And now I smell amazing, so there's that. Okay, bye guys.